slowly descending into the devil's anus. <laughs> it's a long journey. That's what I heard anyway. Yeah. The word on the street. Fact. I mean, well, I mean, I don't know if it's fact, but it's probably it. What's up, guys? Juice here. If you couldn't tell already, I'm obviously in Arizona in the Grand Canyon. I actually flew in on Saturday, April 9th to Flagstaff, and Darwin picked me up from the airport. I uh, spent the night at his place, and then we uh, took off early in the morning. We got here. Well, mid-morning and uh, kind of set out. So we started at Hermit, uh, Hermit Point Trailhead, which is one of the most western areas of the Grand Canyon National Park. And we hiked maybe about 10 miles today. The scenery was just incredible. The temperature was super nice. There was a little bit of overcast. Super great day. It's actually one of the first times I've done uh, some desert hiking and it's the first time I've actually been to the Grand Canyon. So. Great day, the campsite is sweet. I'll have to show you in just a minute, but uh, yeah, been a great day. Um, I think we're only doing one night here and then just kind of uh, gonna call an audible. We could only get a one night uh, backcountry permit since we just showed up this morning and then just saw what they had available at the backcountry office. So anyway, we're gonna actually probably head down to the Colorado River and kind of check that out in a little bit and then uh, clear skies tonight. So I might get some uh, good astrophotography shots, but we got a Great day that we had so far, and a uh, great campsite, and then we're going to cook some food and hang out and have a good time. So, happy to be in Arizona, and uh, excited for a good rest of the trip. Alright, let's take a little camp tour. Darwin and I are just super cool because we're both rocking the Altiplex. Tarps. The coolest, the coolest man. Uh, have you spent much time in this? It's pretty good so far? A few nights. A few nights. Um, you know what I like about it? It's an Altiplex, but it's just the tarp. Yeah, it's right in the name, so. It's right there. No shocker. It's right there. They're not covering up anything. <laughs> not hiding anything. <laughs> Transparent, right on front. Little street. deception, which is a good thing. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, this is actually the first night I've spent in it. Spent quite a bit of time in the pocket tarp, so this is just kind of bigger in every way. That's the enlightened equipment quilt, 20 degree. I actually am using this big old Cedar Summit uh, 
half foam, half inflating pad that weighs like 24 ounces, but the R value is pretty good on it and it's actually really comfortable to sleep on. So I typically just uh, use this when I car camp with my kids, but I've been sleeping so well in it, why not keep rocking it? Got the Sea to Summit pillow, got some warm gear because it's desert and it's going to be getting cold here pretty quick. And yeah, so we're going to head down to the Colorado, see how that is, and uh, yeah, scarf some food here pretty quick. But great campsite, and yeah, should be a good rest of the night. I brought backpacking gear. Do you backpack? I brought backpacking gear. I have, I have a backpack. <laughs> and then I have some, some backpacking gear that I put in my backpack. Oh, you done this before? Mm. Just getting into it. Nice. Good luck. Backpack. <laughs> <laughs> So we made it down to the Colorado River. Allegedly it's like a 1.2 mile jaunt, but it definitely feels longer than 1.2, but super cool. Super cool. Going for a swim, buddy? Alright, I'll follow. Right after. First I've ever dealt with them. I thought it was going to be, you would think it'd be out on the AT, but the worst I ever dealt with any bugs, mosquitoes, was on the PCT yep. in Oregon. Good morning. It is Monday, April 11th, maybe? Uh, Darwin and I stayed at Monument Creek Campsite that is in the Grand Canyon last night. It's a really, really phenomenal campsite. Lots of flat area. There's actually a bathroom here and uh, just some great views. So uh, we both slept really well. We both got to bed by about nine o'clock. Um, the Grand Canyon is actually the uh, dark sky capital of the world, which makes it really, really great for um, astrophotography shots. So I woke up maybe around like uh, one in the morning and then took some shots just uh, right from my uh, tarp. So uh, they turned out pretty good. So I'll just, uh, I'll share those above. But uh, Monument Creek Campsite would highly recommend. It's a great campsite. Um, it was only about a nine or 10 mile hike to get here. Um, today we have about 15 miles to do. Um, the route is kind of TBD. Um, we can't spend another night in um, the Grand Canyon just because of the fact that we don't have another backcountry permit. So uh, we're gonna kind of call an audible and uh, figure out something else to do. It is supposed to snow in Flagstaff uh, either today or tomorrow. So we might head south. Uh, we got a couple more days before I have to fly out. So not sure exactly what we're gonna do, but uh, should be a great day in the canyon. It's already getting hot. It's about 8.30. So we definitely took our uh, sweet time getting up this morning, but yeah, it should be another great day. Let's get to it. Thank 
camp. We're around four miles in. We're on the Tonto Trail in the Tonto Basin. It is gorgeous here. Gorgeous. It's brutal because it's just so exposed. There's really no water. But man, is it amazing. Just having a great time out here. So we're in the Tonto Basin. We're headed to um, uh, the Indian campgrounds. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Something like that. I'll put it in at the top. But uh, anyway. It's kind of like an oasis there. We're probably going to grab some lunch for maybe about three miles out from there. And then we're going to take the uh, corridor trail up and out. Very much sweet, you might say. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it's been great. First time in the Grand Canyon and man, it is definitely living up to the hype. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to keep on, take the corridor trail out and then figure out what we're going to do for the next couple days. Made it to Indian Gardens. We're about 10 miles in for the day. Um, Indian Gardens is a sweet little oasis that's uh, about 4.4 uh, miles from um, the top of the canyon uh, by Bright Angel Trailhead. So uh, we're just uh, perched up here, soaking our feet, and just finished up some lunch. Um, it's pretty cool. There's a, a little spigot with uh, fresh water that you don't have to filter, so that's pretty nice to just fill up a bottle and go. And it's pretty cold, which is always welcome. Um, anyway, we're going to kind of chill out here for a little bit and then start the trek up Bright Angel Trail. So that's about a 4.4 mile trek. And then head to the van and then uh, who knows where next. So we're just going to kind of play it by ear. There's some uh, snow that's uh, going to be hitting Flagstaff probably tomorrow with uh, pretty cold temps in like the 30s and lows in the teens. So kind of just really depends on uh, how the weather is. So kind of uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, this uh this little hermit loop has been uh, been really cool. It's been cool to experience the desert. It's been cool to experience the canyon. And uh, yeah, even in just a short couple days. But we're gonna head out here in a little bit and uh, start this 4.4 mile trek up, which should be fun. How's that plastic? Oh, buddy, that's gonna kill you. <laughs> they say they'll eat anything. Might bite your hand if you try to take it, though. Bright Angel Trail, epic, but it's a haul. It's a good climb out. Harder than I was expecting, to be honest. But, right at the top. 
It's all good to go. Whew, wrapped up the hike. Success. 15.5 miles today, over 5,200 feet of vert. That last mile kicked my butt, not gonna lie. It was, uh, the last mile was a little bit of a struggle, but totally worth it. Now we're gonna head into this little plaza here, go grab a cold beer, and uh, yeah, figure out what's next. So part two, we are headed towards Pine, Arizona to do some hiking in the Clear Creek Wilderness. It's about an hour drive from Flagstaff and uh, some snowstorms were supposed to come through uh, Flagstaff last night, which never really happened, but clearly here, it is happening. So <laughs> kind of a little bit of a surprise. So that's currently what we're going through right now. Not ideal. So we're kind of up on the rim right now and then we're headed down. So I guess the hope is, is that it's warmer there and maybe it's not gonna hail and snow on us. Maybe it'll just be rain and then it'll pass, but yeah, we're kind of uh, thrown for a loop right now. So we'll we'll see what it's like as we uh, keep headed towards Pine. But right now, not great, not great. <laughs> 